Non-governmental organizations have called on the federal government to strengthen the country's ports of entry to tackle the spread of infectious diseases. The call was made at a stakeholders' review meeting on the Quarantine Act, Repeal and Reenactment Bill in Abuja, organized by the Lifeline Center for Medical and Health Rights Advocacy with the support of Resolve to Save Lives. President, Lifeline Center for Medical and Health Rights Advocacy, said strengthening of ports of entry will be achieved when the bill is passed into law. The growth of pandemic, you know, we have had uh, Ebola before. We are now having um, COVID-19. Like you said, we are expecting more pandemic. We are not praying for it, but I mean, this is the reality of the day. And so we really need to strengthen this aspect of our healthcare delivery system at the point of entry. And so the aspect of this bill that will benefit Nigeria most is the fact that this bill seek to uh, establish for the first time Port Health Authority, you know, a, a, an, a, a legal and institutional framework, you know, for Port Health in Nigeria, creating a regulatory agency with proper funding, with proper departments, with more personnel and training. The bill, if it's passed into law, is going to also allow Nigeria to meet international standards because by the provision of uh, international, international health regulation, every country is supposed to take such step and strengthen its uh, point of entry healthcare services. Country representative for Nigeria, resolved to save lives, said the bill was a necessity for Nigeria. So the fact is that diseases will always travel. The diseases, as once people travel, diseases will travel. All that this bill should do is to help build systems so that if you, had, if you, have, some, if you have a disease that can come through the land borders, that you have systems in place to detect it, to detect it early. Um, also to make sure that, you know, um, when you, ha you, you have systems in place, the, the ports of entry, Apart from being designated as that means that you need to have, for instance, hospitals, you need to have air taxis, you need to have ambulances and other resources available. The Assistant Legal Advisor, Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, said the bill was apt. You know, Port Health point of entry is a very vital um, place in Nigeria because with every emerging disease that is able to come into the country is at the point of entry. So, you know, having a point of entry and having this particular quarantine bill passed into law, we're going to have all the necessary equipment, all the necessary authorities, all the necessary um, things we need to strengthen the Port Health. So at the Port Health, we can have people testing there and then as soon as you arrive in Nigeria, as soon as where ships or cargoes come into Nigeria, we have all the necessary testing equipment. So that way, every single person, every single cargo, every single thing that comes into Nigeria is tested, detected, and prevented. Senior Health Advisor, Pro Health International, said so the bill would help significantly to strengthen the legal framework in the health security space for Nigeria. I will call on the National Assembly to um, expedite this process. I'm aware already that there is a, a lot of momentum and that the National Assembly is actually keen on seeing this process through. Um, I would advise that the momentum continues and that this becomes one of the wins that the country gets from this um, process of um, of the response to the COVID-19 pandemic.